Hello and uh, welcome back to you and me. Um, sorry for the delay. Um, one thing after another, as it were. Okay, uh, for those of you who um, don't know, uh, this is a uh, tutorial-based research channel, um, but I will be showing you results and I will be showing you uh, res uh, research um, in action as well. Okay, so um, I will be using uh, GIMP, which is the interface you can see here. Um, and we will be looking at this image, which is um, this image here. And also, we're going to have a quick look at this as well, because um, this will take you to the high rise site, which is the MRO, um, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. So, um, okay, right. Where do I start? Um, right, okay. Uh, this has a that's a little emblem. Um, sorry if I sound a little bit um, all over the shop. It's just that I've done this one. I've determined to get it out. But I've lost about ten hours worth of uh, work um, due to bad saves. My files are too large i i don't know but very frustrating anyway here's a few more bits but if you've watched some of the other ones um i'm quite interested in how these orbit and the angles that they photograph stuff at so um pause and uh have a read it's a little bit of uh information <clears throat> about what we're going to be looking at um so okay let's uh have a look at this. Actually, comes in quite large. This um, that this is the original, um, and this is uh, the image which I've uh, enlarged. I've done some burn work on it, um, and um, added more saturation to it. Okie doke. Right. Um, so. Where to start? Where to start? Right. Okay, we're just going to get in there, um, and let's have a look at some plates. If you if you don't know what I'm doing at the moment, then just have a look at the other videos, and uh, it will be self-explanatory. Um, right. So this has been enlarged, and it's now about um, two gig. Um, and I've done another one, Mars one, similar to, similar to this, but um, oh, it's crazy. I've done so much work on this, <clears throat> um, and uh, it's just very frustrating. So I think we should just, it's an awesome picture, and uh, you'll never see what I'm going to show you if you don't enlarge it follow the instructions and they're, they're, this is the idea behind the channel um show you how you can uh, discover this stuff for yourself so like i say um pause and uh check this stuff out yourself um so i'm just going to get straight into doing doing some bits because there's loads to look at um and I have to keep an eye on the time as well. So difficult because there's always so much to show you. Um, Okie doke. Let's have a look in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I've uh, explained before, I um, always tend to look in the dark areas first um, to see what we can find and um, <clears throat> one of the reasons I do this is because if you are interested and you are watching then your uh, your eyes brain however it is will um, 
be able to decipher these things a lot easier after a while of um, looking at this stuff. So I'm just going to look at a few areas. Um, and like I say, I did about 10 hours worth on this. Um, and it's quite incredible. But there's something I can show you, which I did a couple of years ago, which will show you the extent of um, these, I think, camouflaged, false landscapes. Um, I'll just show you quickly on here. These actually come in quite large. This is the original. Um, now looking at the same area, Okay, see, there's no real way you're going to be able to, um, you could, I mean, you, you could quite possibly work on this, but uh, you're not really going to see anything. Here we go, this is the difference. So, I mean, I can get right in it, even though you, do, you won't notice a thing like this. Um, this is why <coughs> I pan in and out. <coughs> Because a lot of the time you don't even you can't even see what you're doing until you pan out. So I'm not going to tell you what these things are. I'll leave that up to you. Well, I do. I have to put titles on the on the videos. Now my computer is lagging a bit, as you can see, it's trying to catch up. I had great problems with this. And people are probably still saying, well, I can't. I can't make this out. And it never usually is anything familiar. Um, you know, unless it, something blatantly is, we, you know, we can only presume what these things are. What we do know they are, they are hidden in the uh, landscape. Okay, maybe that wasn't a very good example. Let's go over here. <clears throat> okay. I have darkened this down. This was a lot brighter as well. Um, but very unusual looking. Let me check this stuff out. I hope you can get to uh, grips with this. Because um, it's been a nightmare. So I left it. Because <clears throat> it was very frustrating.
So I think after I've just done this little bit, we'll have a I mean, there is stuff everywhere. Let's have a look at this. This is quite blurry. <clears throat> now, if we want to call these constructions, uh, they're not what you and me would call a uh, traditional looking. But we are on Mars. You see that this area that I've just done there. Just gonna Mellow burn midtones. It's the same exposure. Um, go back to dodge highlights. Just gonna make that a bit smaller. I wish I had the, uh, the stuff I'd spent all the time on to show you. Um, if you are watching this for the first time, check out the other videos and you'll see exactly what I mean, where I'm coming from. Um, it takes practice to to um, get to know what you're looking at. You see a lot of these things, I don't know what they are. See like here and here. I've seen they do they use them as sand dunes. Um, look close, look at this.
very old. But nothing blatant. Um, sorry about the jiggeriness. Um, where was I? I did a little bit of work. Oh yeah, in this area here. Let's check all this out. It's very tiny as you're very busy. Lots and lots going on. Let me see all this. <clears throat> not saying a lot, I'm trying to think what to do. Okay, I'll just show you... Um... Something actually sticks out when you're looking at these images and it just goes straight to it. Um, These different colours, like I explained before, is the nature of the the tool itself. And uh, obviously what's in the image, how they've coloured it and now these MRO images are a lot harder to work on. And unfortunately, I'm only showing you the very first uh, stage of um, revealing these uh, structures. Now, if I was to say to you um, that this whole map is um, covered in anomalies, structures, however you would like to, uh, to call it, you would think I was mental. Um, and uh, yeah, you'd be uh, quite right because can't really see a lot. I know I should have put another layer on this and marked some areas. Um, but what I do know 
is that it is completely covered yet again let's have a look there It's unusual stuff in this. Um, <clears throat> what I can show you though is something I did a couple of years ago. And uh, when I was working black and white, nowhere near and finished. You can see how different areas are, are different. But it is the same map as this map. Um, and all these mottled areas, which I've, I've explained before, um, are areas that I've worked on. God knows how long this 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 took. Um, this was done in a different program as well. Um, but I'm just going to go into some areas, and uh, you, you're going to have to play with this interpret this your, yourself else we will be here for days I'll just try and point out some little areas This area hasn't been worked on. Have a look at that area here.
<clears throat> I'm sorry this isn't um, blow your socks off type sort of stuff. Um, I just had to uh, do something. To um, just get another another bid out. Um, I will do a load more work on this and show you um, the results, uh, which will be quite spectacular, I'm sure. Um, that's what I did have to show you, it's, it's very frustrating. Right, okay. Um, now, when you get this image, um, I was talking to someone um, in regards to these images. Um, now this is from the photo journal site. Now down here, there's a, a ESP number. Now if you click on this, here we go. It will take you to the high rise site. Now, for some reason, when you search in here, it doesn't it doesn't accept the ESP numbers. Um, so, if you want to look at an area of Mars, you have to write the area in or a crater or something like that. But here we go. Now, this this is the what that does. This shows you. Now this is an area of that map we're looking at. Um, now these are these are awesome. I think I've shown you one of these before, anyway. Um, but amazing, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. Now it, if this doesn't look real, um, to the untrained eye, anyway. And my phone's going mental. Now, let me. What I did, just to show you guys, I chose an area in this map. Now, I mentioned this map about chopping maps up because they're coming quite large. When this one opens up, it comes in at 2 gig, which is really low. So, I recommend this one. Um, and what I did, I cropped, I think it's this area here. So, um, let's have a quick, where are we? Yeah, so that's, this is the, here we go, my computer's playing silly buggers now. What did I just close that? Anyway, this is had, this is, it, this was the crop and I bumped it up it's only 1.1 gig um, just to show you the similarity between what they do to these pictures now this was a random absolute absolutely random um, I've done some lightning darkening and some um, some burn work on it so, uh, you have to bear with me, the computer is not being happy, I'll tell you what. Let's just 
just get rid of those. Been on for a while now as well. So. Buttons aren't working. Okay. Let's. They look great. So we're really getting pretty close. I did spot something. I have got stuff on this. See those things I was talking about in the other map? They when they call these sand dunes. In very debatable. Ah, see that little white, little white spot there. Okay, so let's go and have a look at it. I think I didn't enlarge this quite so much, so I can show you. You can see how it's pixelating there. So it's actually, it's not... There's something going on there. So let's see if we can pull anything out. <clears throat> so we're on dodge highlights, it's one at eight percent, so now every picture, every photo, like I say, is gonna react differently. So I need, need to pull that up even more. So, <clears throat> these rocks, I suppose they still do look like rocks. Like I say, these are the first, this is the first stage of, um, the research. I haven't seen any of these these before.
Another quick thing as well, you have to remember that these um, styluses, the graphic tablet styluses, <clears throat> are pressure sensitive, so the size of that circle there, um, if I press really hard then I'll get the full range of that circle, and then if I press really softly, it will just work on the very centre, or over about I think it's about two and a half thousand pressure points in nothing. That's why you can use them for sketching and stuff. And obviously the smaller it is, the brush is, the further in the picture you are. The more exact it is, the more detail it will bring out. And obviously it is up to me how far I, I, I push or pull these things, but I'm just trying to get it to uh, a state where we can see something. Okay. So from this point to that point, and if you do, if you haven't seen the other videos, check them out because it's all about these things are how they all join up. This doesn't look right to me. So we'll take this video as an uh, an exercise for those of you guys who are attempting to do this. So we've looked at a photo journal um, and uh, a high rise. And these, they, I mean, these these maps are incredible. Even before you do anything to them. Now here we are again, with these very strange cliff-like almost look like there's something going on underneath it god damn it so it's all going off today right okay um now when we looked on in fact it was on the last mars one we had a look at these cliffs and things. In fact, this was the first place I looked on this map. How weird is that? So you can see why um, time is a, an issue and it can get very frustrating, you know, when you spent silly hours. But it's the only way, I've, I mean, I've tried so many different ways. Um, you know, there are people who do things differently. Um, 
but I just can't. Uh, I mean, the, what I've found out is literally, I can't not touch. See, look how dark that is. Let's almost if, it, if the cliff comes down then goes back in on itself. But when you pull this out, it's actually saying to me something completely different. I don't exactly know what it's saying to me. So here you go guys, this is all first time ever mere mortals have seen. So we'll put this video down to you, uh, for you guys who are who are trying this yourselves, um, and I will get on something straight away and a tutorial. But there we go. This is it. The, these sort of the striking areas, things that um, stand out white or black normally uh, have something to hide well, this is what it seems anyway oops excuse me I'm going to knock this on the edge shortly because my computer is struggling See, this is strange as well. Why? You know, it looks like a crust of sorts, doesn't it? But it is Mars, and I am not, don't have the uh, geological knowledge. why it might be doing this. So you can see how high the exposure is on this. You just have to keep working it. I mean you can do this at any any place on the whole map and see what happens. I mean once you go light you have to go dark again using a different tool compressing the pixels. That does eliminate blurring to a certain extent as well. So, obviously stuff going on, I haven't got a clue what it is, but it looks built, it looks manufactured. Um, what can I say? Let's try in there. So you can see I'm literally I'm just scribbling.
Yeah, there you go. So apologies again for the um, crappiness of this. It's all been a bit hasty. Rather pissed off to tell you the truth for losing all that work. Um, But like I say, I've got loads coming. You just have to keep going at this stuff. See that? Let's just burn that. I mean, like I said, I mean, you, on a lot of this stuff, you might have to hit it, you know, four, five, six times, depending on the image. slowly see things appearing it's everywhere see and then if you look you can follow this through you know you say well that doesn't look like anything just takes time okay and that was a small crop what's left of some quick what's that there? <clears throat> I don't know if you can see anything here It's the case with, uh, with these things, even if you can't see anything. Just go and have a look. And if you're subtle enough with the tools, you might be surprised what you find. just amazes me even doing this I, mean, it's, I, I haven't touched any of this before when you pan out you can start seeing you can start following stuff around and then you start noticing other things this is why I started doing this work because it was like <coughs> And this video isn't what I would say, what the goddamn hell is that to anyone? So I try and explain that because it's far too early stages. This is why I started working on, you know, enlarged areas, very small areas, very enlarged rather, because I wanted to find out what it was. I don't think it's worth showing people stuff that is a, you know, a bit um, a bit ah, oh, I'm not entirely sure about that. 
Very difficult, but like I say, for those of you who um, are trying this yourselves and stuff, I hope this has helped you out a little. And we, I will go back to this stuff, or shall we say, we'll go back to this one, because um, it's a good one. Like here, um, as you can see, Obviously, the quality is not here on this one, but it's everywhere. Um, and if you think I'm talking uh, twaddle at the moment, then um, have a look at the other videos, and uh, that will show you. See how different it looks. I know it's black and white, but it's everywhere. Tiny little bits of stuff which you can relate to the other stuff is it it's about similarities and things that you you find um and remember there is an angle on this as well so yeah this needs a huge amount of work i mean it's okay guys i will uh be reviewing this one I've got something a bit more eye popping coming up um, okie doke so I can't remember anything else here it's just too much um, to do so my apologies for this and I'll, I'll sort you out with something um, a bit more interesting next time round okay so um, Welcome back all, and um, we'll see you all soon. Um, thanks very much. Okay, bye.